God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome once again to Rebirth Live. We give God praise for you guys on tonight. You already know I'm Pastor Justin S. Lucas welcoming you again to another broadcast for this is the day that the Lord has made. We got to rejoice. You know, we got to be glad in it. We're so glad on this evening that you guys are here with us and we just want to bless God. Amen. For another chance, another opportunity just to be in the land of the living. Listen, there is a lot going on in the land, so much going on in our nation, so much going on even around the world. It seems like we got to say this every week, but there's always something new, something that is taking place in the world. But we want you to just be encouraged on tonight. Listen, if you could just take a few minutes and just unplug from all those things that are going on, let us be a blessing to you on tonight. Let us encourage you this evening, amen, that your life will be better, that your spirit will be blessed, Hallelujah, that your well-being will be enriched. That's what we're here for. Listen, this may not be the greatest or the biggest or the best platform. I don't even think we can call it a platform, but we're going to take our little ledge tonight <laughs> and we're going to do the best that we can do with what God has given us. Amen. Listen, we want you to share this broadcast because we are doing all that we can to reach the souls in this season and in this time. We don't want to lose focus on what God is doing. We don't want to uh, be distracted or even lose focus on what's happening in our nation and even around the world. But I've got a word for you guys on tonight. Amen. That we got to make sure not to lose focus. Don't lose focus. Amen. But listen, before we get to that, we want you to like and share this broadcast. Amen. It's so important that you just take your little thumb, that you take your finger and push share. Come on. Let's see how many shares we can get tonight so that we can reach somebody. We're going to repost this. We're going to broadcast this. Almost a type of political message on tonight or our stand, amen, concerning in the word of God with what's going on in our nation. But we want to encourage somebody tonight. We want to reach somebody that needs to be reached. We want to touch somebody that needs to be touched. There's so much uh, that's happening. There's so much that's taking place uh, in our nation. So many tears that have been shed. So much blood, amen, that has been shed over the last couple of weeks. And we want to do what we can tonight on Rebirth, amen, live to be able to speak our peace, speak our mind concerning the word of God. But before we get to that, we want to encourage you in light of everything that's going on. Listen, that God is in control and that trouble don't last always. It cannot last always always old school song i want you to help me sing it tonight come on groove with me right there in your house amen like and share tell somebody that rebirth live is on the air hallelujah come on put them hands together tonight i think this song is so befitting letting you know that trouble don't last always come on put them hands together right where where you are yeah hallelujah come on kids let's dance and sing it says I'm so glad, yeah, that trouble don't last always, trouble don't last always. I'm so glad, hey, that trouble don't last always, yeah. Come on, if you know verse 1, I want you to help me. Come on tonight, it says, it may not come when we want him, yeah, but he's on time. Yeah. Come on and say this. In times of trouble, yeah, I found him to be a friend of mine. Hey, come on and say it. Storm clouds rise in your life. Tell the person beside you, he'll be there. Yes, he will be there. Come on then. All of your burdens, take it to the Lord. He'll help you to bear. That's I'm so glad Hey The trouble don't last always Yeah It can't last forever Come on I'm so glad Hey The trouble don't last always Yeah Hallelujah Let's sing verse 1 again Hallelujah May not come when you want him Hey but he's on time. I wanted you to be encouraged tonight. Hey, in times of trouble, protest, I found him to be a friend of mine. Hey, uh, listen. 
with everything that's going on and going wrong. Listen, he'll be there. Yes, he will. Hey, this is what you got to do. All of your burdens and all of your cares, take them to the Lord. He'll bear. And I'm so glad. Yes, I am. The trouble don't last always. They don't sing these songs anymore. You need to tag somebody in this video. Come on and say, I'm so glad. Yes, I am. The trouble don't last. Come on, this is everybody's favorite part. Say, weeping may, weeping may endure for a night. But keep the faith, it will be all right. Weeping may endure for a night. Keep the faith, it will be all right. Yeah. I ain't gonna try to hit that note, but you already know that trouble, <laughs> it can't last always. I know they're marching in the streets. I know they're burning down stores. But I want you to encourage yourself and say, trouble don't last always. Hey, hey, hey. Trouble don't last always. I know that you're scared right now, but just say, trouble don't last always. I come to tell you tonight that trouble, it can't last always. Come on and help me see. Trouble don't last always. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. Trouble don't last always. I need you to type that in the comments. Come on. Say, trouble don't last always. Hey, no. Trouble don't last always. Listen, I know that they're in the streets right now. I know that the National Guard and, and the police are protesting and, and, and the nation is arguing and protesting. But I want to encourage you tonight that trouble, it cannot last always. Hallelujah. Somebody type this right here. Say, God's got it under control. Come on, say, God's got it under control. I said, God's got it under control. Hey, trouble don't last always. Hey, hey, it can't last always. Well, no, 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 trouble don't last always. I'm so, so glad. Trouble don't last always. Now put them hands together, let's dance. Come on, come on. If you're glad about it tonight, if you're happy about it tonight, you got to encourage yourself. Hey, that trouble, it can't last always. Weeping may, weeping may endure for a night. Keep the faith, it will be alright. Weeping may endure for a night, but keep the faith, it'll be alright. I know it's gonna work out fine. Hey, I know it's gonna be alright. Trouble don't last always. Oh my God. Oh my God. Listen, I come to encourage you tonight. I come to be a blessing to you tonight and just let you know that trouble don't last always. I know we're going through. I know we're in a tough spot. We're in a tight squeeze right now. But hallelujah, the main thing is that we're going to come through it. We're going to come out of it. We're going to come through it. Amen. You ever thought about something? Amen. I, I just hear the Lord tonight. Even if the rapture come right now, we're going to come out all right. My God. Even if the rapture come out tomorrow, we're going to be all right. We thank God. Amen. That troubles don't last always. Hallelujah. I read in the book of Romans that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. I don't know about you tonight, but I woke up this morning and I said, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. I got on my knees today and I said, God, I bless you. I'm glad to be in the land of the living. I know that all things, come on, come on, somebody type all things have got to work together 
We thank God for you being in this broadcast with us on tonight. And we pray that you have just been blessed already. I want you to grab somebody, send it to them in Messenger. Do something to get somebody on this broadcast on tonight. Because the world needs to hear, amen, what's going on concerning the church. The world needs to hear, amen, where our stance is. We want to be compassionate. We want to have feelings, amen, for everything that's going on. But we've got a greater job to do. And I want you to share somebody uh, uh, with this, share this broadcast with somebody on tonight so that we can reach them and we can teach them. Maybe try to do our, our little part to help somebody. We're in little old Martinsville, amen, but we're going to do all that we can to be a blessing to the nation, to be a blessing to someone, amen, with the gospel on tonight, amen. Uh, before we go forward, as always, I want to thank God for your giving and your donations, amen. This week, we have already asked people uh, for your tithe and your offering. It's very, very important. Me and Elder Scales were talking on yesterday. I said, man, it's another month, amen. It's another month that God has brought us to. Can you believe that it's June already? My God, that it's June already. We're at the halfway point of the year, amen, and we've been able to make it this far by your donation, by your giving, yes. Yes, God has got us. Yes, God has provided. Yes, God has taken care of us. But we've got a responsibility and an obligation with our finances, with our tithing, amen, to be good stewards with whatever God has given us, amen. So we thank you for your giving. At this time, we're also accepting donations, amen, and blessings, financial seed, amen, that we can continually pour back into the sanctuary here. All of our members, amen, are, are giving. You can give at any time. If you need to meet, amen. Amen. Or, or just give digitally. You can do that. But we thank God for each and every one of you guys giving your tithe, your offering, as well as your special offering on this month. We bless God in the name of Jesus. Listen, if you need to give, you want to you want to sow. You want to give your tithe. You want to give a special offering right here. Rebirth Ministries 24112. Amen. Right there on Cash App. You can find us. Everything that you give goes right back into the house, goes right back into the sanctuary. So we're grateful and we're glad to be able to be a blessing and reach you guys. Amen. But we thank you at this time for your giving and your support into this ministry. Amen. I want you to pray with me at this time. Amen. As we go before the Lord in the word of God, we thank you, God on tonight for everything that you've shown us, everything that you're going to reveal to us, God. Lord, even in my spirit, as I was trying to put this message together and prepare, hallelujah, for what you have me to give to the people, I need your direction, God. Very sensitive matter and subject, but I need your direction, God. Speak to my heart and my mind, God, that we will be able uh, uh, to, to deliver this correctly for the people of God, that they may understand and be edified and uplifted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen, amen, amen. We thank God for you guys on tonight being with us. Hallelujah. We know that this is another opportunity to be able to reach someone and speak and teach. Amen. To somebody uh, that may need the word of God. We all need the word. Amen. We all need the word. But there's so much going on in our nation. So many things have developed even over the last week since Wednesday, since we last spoke to you guys. Amen. So many things have developed in our nation. Amen. And one of the things that, that has developed, we understand Amen. And we, we're going to speak to you guys tonight just very, very briefly about the passing and, and what some are even calling a murder. Amen. Of our, uh, uh, I say our brother George Floyd. This is a nationwide, a worldwide movement and things that have happened. And I don't know if some of you guys have seen the video, but I've heard from uh, co-workers and, and people, uh, co-workers of my wife even said, hey, I find it hard to even watch the video. It's hard to stomach to be even able to watch the video. But so many things are going on. Uh, uh, in regards to that in our world right now, our president is even speaking and doing things and, and, and releasing the militaries and the National Guards and in an effort to try to help the unrest in the nation. Amen. But we're living in a wild time. I'm telling you, we're living in an amazing time. And some things in my life uh, I, I witnessed. Uh, I was telling Sister Boo, I said, God, she she lived through the protest and she lived through the marches with, with Dr. King and, and through the marches with in the times of Malcolm X. She lived through those times of segregation. Amen. But it seems as if the world is just uh, just tumbling on its on its end. Amen. Possibly there are millions of people that have protested the death of George Floyd. Amen. We 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 did not know him directly. We knew him and was introduced, amen, to him as his face was on the 
concrete as he was being pinned down, amen, from the back of his neck on his throat, we saw what took place, amen. And listen, I feel the same way. I feel that in the same way, this was a brutal, unwarranted killing, and it does not need to go unpunished, amen. It does not need to go, and this is for anyone that was involved, amen. But I did not come to give you a political speech on tonight. Uh, I told you I don't even consider this necessarily a platform. We'll call it a plank, amen. If it's not a stage or a platform, we may not be reaching the masses, but for the ones that we are reaching and that we are speaking to, amen. I feel that this thing, amen, needs to be addressed accordingly, and I stand with the masses of people that protest peacefully and I even have in there, I ain't gonna lie, some of the same anger in my heart, amen, of those that riot, amen. The Bible says to anger, but sin not. I have a common, enough common sense not to loot and to steal. That, that, that I have anger inside for what happened, but the Holy Ghost says not to steal, and the Holy Ghost says not to do those things, amen, that we see uh, some of the wild crowd doing, amen. But as a human being, as a human being, I'm not coming to you tonight as a religious person in this section uh, or as a preacher or a pastor, but as flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, amen, I speak to you tonight as a human, as a man, you should be outraged by what has taken place. I'm not just going to stay on this tonight, but you should be outraged by the things that have taken place in this nation. There should not be a left or a right. There should not be a black or a white. But just in your human being of a, of a person, hallelujah, nothing inside of you should feel okay by seeing what took place. There shouldn't be anything inside of you that feels all right with what took place. Black, white, Cuban, brown, green, purple, yellow, it doesn't matter. Red, amen. It doesn't matter your creed, your color, where you come from or what your mama look like. It shouldn't matter. As a human being, amen, you should have pause with what you saw take place. Now, some pastors and some churches are more, uh, 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 I don't want to use the wrong, wrong term, amen, uh, social. When I say social, for injustice and equal rights. I believe in those things. I wholeheartedly believe in those things. But we as the church in this time, I've heard some people say, well, the church refuses and the church always misses uh, being compassionate in the middle of what things are. Yes, I understand that. And we are compassionate. I have said that I stand with the family. I stand with the injustices. Amen. Of anyone, hallelujah, that has been uh, 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 brutalized, that has been murdered, that has been uh, uh, beat up, whether your color, creed, or whatever it is, is. Amen. We are compassionate and we are understanding in these times. But listen, I want to share with you if you're on this broadcast tonight, while you're being compassionate and while you're being understanding, while you want equal rights, while you are concerned about black and white, we cannot afford to lose our main objective. Hallelujah. We cannot afford to lose our main objective. I'm speaking to churches. I'm speaking to members tonight. I'm speaking to pastors. Some pastors are more militant than others. Some pastors platform Forms are more for social reform and for justice. Amen. But while you're fighting for equal rights, you better make sure that your soul is right. Amen. Listen, I had somebody reach out to me this week and they said, hey, uh, would you be interested in, in being a part of a protest or being a part or speaking up? Amen. In a protest. I'm all for that and I agree. Amen. That that's good for our nation and that it's good. Amen. For blacks, whites, for, for your rights. I agree with that. Amen. I agree with that. But guess what? We cannot get so caught up in the protests. We cannot get so caught up in the black and white that we miss Jesus. Come on, saints. You are tuned in tonight to a church channel. You are tuned in tonight to a gospel teaching. And I want you to say this tonight. Hallelujah. You got to understand it's wrong what has happened. It is unfortunate what has taken place. Murder is murder no matter the color. But I want to share with you tonight. You got to understand something. It was wrong for that man. Hallelujah. For a cop to kill a human, amen, for any human to take a human life, amen, but making matters worse, hallelujah, was that it was a white man, amen, that, that took the life of a black man in the year 2020 in the way that we've seen it happen for hundreds of years, all that was missing was the rope, hallelujah, amen, it just, that's the new rope, he just kneeled on his neck, amen, but I want you to get, to, get this tonight, be honest, we are uh, outraged, 
We are upset over the death of George Floyd. We are uh, protesting and we're standing up against that death and especially the way and the brutality and the force, excessive force that was used. And we've been watching on, on, on Facebook and watching online and on CNN. But have we asked ourselves the question, yes, that was wrong. Yes, he's gone and yes, he died and that man's going to be tried. But have you asked yourself the question, was George Floyd saved? Come on, saints. Come on, come on. I am addressing the injustice, but I also want you not to forget the salvation. Come on, saints. I am addressing the wrongdoing, but I also don't want you to get so caught up, amen, in the wrong that was done that we are distracted by the enemy and we are not addressing salvation. Come on, saints. Amen. Now, some people are going to probably leave off. Some people ain't going to like it and say, well, you shouldn't be uh, talking about this. Listen, this is the church. We must stand for equal rights. We must stand for the uh, equal and beautiful treatment of all. Amen. But at the end of the day, I want to ask you something. Whether you black or white, is your soul right? Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, whether you green or brown, amen, is your soul right? Do you have what you need to have if you do get pulled over and yanked out of a car and murdered innocently by a police officer? Do you have what you need on the inside? Y'all come on in here. Do you have what you need on the inside if you get caught by a stray bullet? Do you have what you need to have on the inside? Amen. If the protest or something else happened. Are you ready to meet Jesus? That's what I got to ask you tonight. I want to ask you tonight. Listen, we're so quickly to see the things at the surface value and we tend to forget what matters most. Now, I am saying it is wrong for what has happened. I am saying I do not agree, uh, hallelujah, with what has happened, but it is my job. It is my responsibility, amen, to make sure that if that does happen, that your soul is right. I'm here to preach to the living tonight, amen, and I want you to make sure that your soul is right. Now, we can't deny that we need immediate action and that we need immediate change in our country, hallelujah, in more ways than one. And I heard somebody say, we're not going to fight back physically. We're going to fight back when we vote. Y'all, come on. We're not going to fight back and throw uh, bricks and cans. Amen. We're going to fight back with our vote. We need change in this country. But I want to ask you tonight. What about salvation? Hallelujah. We can't get so caught up in politics. We can't get so caught up in, in rioting. And we can't get so caught up in the protests that we forget about salvation. We've heard for weeks now, amen, that black lives matter. While I agree, I totally agree that black lives matter. I agree, amen, that all lives matter. Whatever your color, human life matters, amen. But uh, can I ask you something? Can the preacher ask you something tonight? What about your salvation mattering. Uh huh. We've gotten so caught up with Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, White Lives Matter. But guess what? If you ain't saved, that life don't matter. Come on, saints. If you don't have God dwelling on the inside, that's what it's all about. Yes, we want to live well while we're here. Yes, we want to do well while we're here. But guess what? At the end of the day, when our eyes close, I need something inside of me that God said, I'm not looking at the outward appearance of man. He doesn't see black or white. He doesn't see red or brown. He sees our soul salvation. And I don't know about you. If When I get out of here, I want to know that my salvation matters. Can I tell you something tonight? Your salvation, it matters. Amen. Salvation matters. That need to be a new hashtag. That need to be a new, uh, a, a new movement. Amen. Salvation matters. Hallelujah. All these things that are going on in our nation and taking place. And I told you, some people won't like this, but as this is my plank or my platform, amen. I'm a preacher and a pastor that believes in equality and human rights, social justice, especially for those that are less fortunate it and those that are mistreated amen but guess what at the end of the day i want to make sure you saved i want to make sure amen that while you're out there protesting that hallelujah if anything goes wrong you're ready to meet jesus come on saints we cannot afford in this hour church to lose focus and get so caught up on what's going on in our nation or going on in the world that we forget jesus come on you're so focused on george that you didn't forget 
forgot Jesus. Come on. You're so focused on black and white that you have forgotten Jesus. You haven't been in the church in months. You haven't been in the, in the, in the body in months. You got to make sure that in all of your getting, you get an understanding and that you keep Jesus in the forefront. Listen to this. The devil's main objective, hear me clearly, the devil's main objective is to distract, to divide, and to destroy. Amen. And he don't always have to distract you with sin. He can distract you with the movement. He can distract you with anything by any means necessary. All is fair in love and war. Amen. He can use anything or anybody. All he, he doesn't care what he uses. All he wants to do is get your mind off of God. If he can get your mind off of God and you'll rise up and say, I'm going to this protest and I'm going to go protest to that and I'm going to go protest to this and I'm going to object to that and all the while you're forgetting God he got you amen you got to understand something in this day and time I'm gonna be honest with you this is a word of warning you can call it prophetic or pathetic amen but guess what this is not the first killing and this will not be the last unjustified killing I think they said a week before that even a, a Caucasian uh, a kid was killed or other people are dying this is not the first and it will not be the last while we need change we also need to make sure that our soul is right. We also need to make sure that our soul is right. Listen, don't get so caught up in black and white that you forget about heaven and hell. Oh, my God. Don't go get so caught up in black and white that you forget about heaven and hell. Because after the black and white is over, come on, saints, you got to meet a God that's going to go to the left or to the right. You got to go to heaven or you got to go to hell. I pray that Brother Floyd was saved. I pray that Brother Floyd knew God and the free pardon of his sins. But I want to share something. Just like he didn't know that that was going to happen, you don't know when it can take place. You don't know when it can happen. That that's why you got to make sure your house is in order. You got to make sure that you are ready to meet God. You got to do your best to make sure that your children are ready to meet God because you never know. We got to be prepared not for just now, but we got to be prepared for what's coming after. Don't get so caught up in black and white, I said, that you miss heaven or hell. Come on, saints, that you forget about heaven and hell. We can't get so caught up in the treatment. Let me say this. We can't just get caught up in the treatment of how people are being treated. We can't just get caught up in the treatment of African Americans. We can't just get caught up in the treatment of, hallelujah, uh, uh, Latinos and, and the people of, of, of brown descent, as we say. We can't just get so caught up in the treatment of whites or whoever it is. Amen. Uh, that we forget about the judgment. Don't get caught up in the treatment and miss the judgment. Y'all come on in here. Amen. We've got to focus, saints. While we've got to fight for these rights, while we've got to strive for better equality, we got to make sure that at the end of the day, when it's all said and done and when it's over, that we're ready to meet Jesus. It's not about your skin color. That's what I'm getting at tonight. It's not about your skin color. It's about your soul. Come on, God said, and he told the man, hallelujah, I believe it was Samuel, amen, when he was going into the house of Jesse to find King David, he said, don't look at the outer. He said, because God doesn't look at the outward appearance. Don't judge the sons by the outward appearance. He said, God doesn't look at the outside. God looks at the heart. Even, even Dr. Martin Luther King said, hallelujah, I look forward and have a dream of a day where children, amen, a man will be judged, hallelujah, by the content of his character. Y'all come on, saints. He said, what's in his heart? That's what I want you to see tonight. You can't just get focused. Yes, we need change. Don't take a single sound bite and twist it. Yes, we need change. Yes, we need better treatment. All lives matter, but your salvation matters the most. Are you ready to meet Jesus regardless of what color you are? Are you ready to meet God regardless of what color you are? Are you ready to meet him regardless of what color you are? I want to share this with you on tonight that is so very important in this hour. That is so very important in this hour that we don't miss the mark that we don't miss the mark. Don't be deterred. Don't be distracted. But say, God, I'm going to make sure that my salvation is right. Then I'm going to protest. I'm going to make sure that my soul is ready to meet you. Then I'll speak my voice. But you know what? I heard something else in the word of God. They said, if we seek him first, all these other things shall be added. 
I heard something else in the word of God that said, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, then will I heal their land. Listen, God is waiting to do the healing, but we got to make sure to stay focused on him. I want you tonight to say, God, there's so much going on. It's so much taking place, but God, help me to stay focused. It's so much going on, but help me to stay focused. It's so much taking place, but help me to stay focused. God, I want to focus on you. I know that you'll take care of everything else. I know that you'll be there in every other way. I thank you on tonight, God, for everything that you've given me to give your people. But I pray in the name of Jesus, listen, that each one of you are safe that each one of you are blessed, that each one of you are in good health and in good spirit. And I know it's a discouraging surrounding nation. I know it's a discouraging surrounding sight, but we got to make sure that our soul is right. Come on, right there in your house, right there wherever you're watching, say, Lord, I want to make sure that my soul is ready to meet you. I want to make sure that my soul is ready to meet you, God. Whatever takes place in this nation, come on, pray with me. Lord, we want to make sure that our souls are right. We want to make sure that we're ready to meet you. For we know not what tomorrow may hold. For the word of God said that life is but a vapor. That we're here one minute and gone the next. Lord, help us in this time to understand. Help us in this time, God, to let you protect us, oh Lord. Lord, cover us and keep us in the blood of Jesus. Lord, not just black, not just white, but Lord, anybody that's faces injustice. Anybody that's facing inequality, God. For an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. Lord, we know that it's wrong, but we know that you're right. Help us in this hour to be able to better translate and to be able to better bring you into this conversation, bring you into this, this picture, and bring you into this dynamic, God, because we can't walk without you. We can't talk without you. We can't move without you. We need you more than ever. God, and it's praying time. It's fasting time. It's time we hold strong to your hand. It's time we believe in you greater than ever. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we need you right now. We want you to have your way, God. As the song is saying, have your way, Lord. That's what we want tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, come on, come on. Seal that tonight. Seal that tonight with an amen. Come on and seal that tonight with an amen. If you need God and you say, God, I need you like yesterday, I want you to seal it tonight with an amen. Come on, come on. I know what's going on in the nation. I know it's wrong, but we as the people of God must pray for those that cannot pray for themselves. We must fast for those that don't know how to fast. Fasting ain't supposed to be comfortable, saints. You don't supposed to make accommodations for it to be comfortable. This is an uncomfortable time in which we are living. But we got to do what we got to do for the people of God, for this great nation. We've got a weight on our shoulders. We've got a, a burden on our shoulders. But we can make it with the help of God. Listen, saints, don't get distracted in this hour. Hallelujah. Stand for what you believe in. Stand up for what's right. But uh, hallelujah. But you got to know that you're standing before the Lord of the heaven's armies. You got to know that you're standing representing the kingdom of God. We give God praise for you guys. Listen, we bless you for, uh, for, for tuning in to Rebirth on tonight. We know that and we pray that you've been blessed. Amen. And we give God praise for you. I want to see each and every one of you guys that are with us on tonight back with us on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. You don't want to miss Sunday's message. Amen. We're going to begin again to make room for what God has for us. We give God praise for you. We bless God for you. We love you. In Jesus' name, God bless you.